Hello and welcome to Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and today we're here to talk about one of the greatest to ever do it. Probably the coolest wrestler to ever live who sadly passed away. And that is the man himself, Scott Hall. I'm wearing my Diamond Stud t-shirt. We're going to get into it guys. We're going to go through some of his career, some of my favourite moments. Do a little tribute kind of video and that's this week's Let's Talk About It. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell. And while the intro's running, go to the comments below and let me know your favourite Scott Hall moment. Is he in your top 10 wrestlers of all time? Do you think he's the coolest guy to ever do it? And what's your favourite match that you ever participated in? Let me know in the comments below and I'm going to roll that intro just now. Okay guys, let's get into this video. Honestly, this is going to be a hard one to make. The, I don't know wrestling without Scott Hall. That time that that time in wrestling that put it on fire, that got us that are my age or older watching it, that made wrestling cool again, that made this thing that we watch new, that probably made a lot of us fall in love with the industry back in that time. He has to be one of the greatest wrestlers. I definitely know he's in my top 10. I think he's actually in my top 5 greatest wrestlers of all time. But he's definitely in there in the top 10. And he has to be the coolest guy to ever step foot in the ring. Effortlessly cool as so many people that I've seen say he was. You know, this guy built the Monday Night Wars. Because of him, Nash and people like that, this started. And it became on the biggest boom period that wrestling has ever seen. Um, I, I do... He's jumped to WCW and stuff like that. I think my first ever match that I rem like really remember from WCW is a Scott Hall moment. And it's, well, him with the, when he had the thing, the cow proke thing that he hit Goldberg with. I remember that, he had the yellow shirt on. And I remember the ladder match with Bam Bam Bigelow and uh, Scott Hall on a Nitro. I know what, I think I must have been about six or seven when that was on TV. So pretty much my whole enjoyment of wrestling has been based around this. Obviously when I was older, going back and watching the Razor Ramon stuff, going back and watching, as you can see, I've got my Diamond Stud t-shirt on, going back and watching that over the years with the network and the, the other Scott Hall matches and stuff that we got was insane. I mean, this guy made toothpicks kill. Who the fuck makes toothpicks kill? Scott Hall does, which is insane. Obviously... Shit what's happened guys and the condolences for this channel from me go out to his family, his friends and obviously his fans as well because it's like a little bit of the childhood for me feels like it's gone away and look, he's no I'm a big NWO fan, I've got the tons of NWO stuff, it's one of my, fa well it is my favourite faction of all time, even the big one when I had too many people in it, I still loved it, still think it's the greatest faction of all time. And if it wasn't for people like Kevin Nash and Scott Hall taking the reins of this industry and changing everything, half the wrestlers that we have today probably wouldn't have got into it. It wouldn't be as cool as what it became. It's not that cool anymore. It wouldn't be cool. It wouldn't have started the Monday Night Wars and we wouldn't have had people... The Rock probably would have been Rocky Maivia still. Would Stone Cold have came and done his bad guy gimmick? Would we have had DX? Would, would Shawn Michaels would have done what you done, who knows, we never know what's going to happen, but I don't think wrestling would have been as hot as it got, and the guys in wrestling definitely wouldn't have been as paid as much as they do now, if it wasn't for people like Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. So Scott Hall started his wrestling career way back in 1984, when he had he ended up being the Diamond Stud, as I've got a t-shirt on, he ended up doing a few other things, tag wrestling, worked a lot with Mr Perfect, which was a really cool tag team that he had there and he had like the Tash and stuff like that but um, yeah he signed with WWE in 1992 and pretty much the rest became history he became that Razor Ramon gimmick which is make the bad guy cool and some would even argue that it made Austin possible made that cool bad guy Austin gimmick possible which Razor Ramon I'd, I have fond memories going back and watching matches between him and Bret Hart um, Two King of the Rings, 1993-1994, Razor was in, had a great match with Bret Hart, and then he had uh, the 1994 one, when Owen won, um, he had a great match with Owen Hart, a great match with Bam Bam Bigelow as well, um, 
but yeah, fantastic. The one, two, three kid stuff. We need to talk about that. He put fucking Sean Waltman over and made him look cool and believable that Sean Waltman was going to beat this bigger guy. And then we need to talk about the greatest ladder match of all time. The <laughs> WrestleMania 10 and I would say the SummerSlam one's a little bit better. But the SummerSlam one... WrestleMania 10, ladder matches back then when ladder matches weren't a cool thing before the Haldies came and revolutionised it and changed it to the way they are used now um, yeah, it's such, such a weird weird thing to be saying this as well as then when he jumped to WCW which we all know that he always says he didn't ever want to do but he had to make money wrestling changed forever the He's jump over there, helped form the NWO, which helped change wrestling, which brought DX, which made wrestling cool, and probably made all your top wrestlers just now become wrestlers and are still able to have a job in big companies like WWE, AEW, and a ton of other ones. You can see the influences of the Bullet Club wouldn't have existed if it wasn't for the NWO, but you can see the influences of Scott Hall and Kevin Nash and a ton of wrestlers, especially Scott Hall's cool kind of gimmick and stuff like that as well. But over the years, like I said, guys, I've went back, I've watched a ton of the wrestling. You know I'm a huge wrestling fan, but I've watched a ton of it. And I would still say from that hot period, wrestling today is still riding the coattails of that. But this guy, Scott Hall, has to be the coolest guy ever to step in between those ropes. And I've seen a lot of people on Twitter talking about, oh, he he done this and took drugs and that kind of stuff. Look, guys, we've all done shitty stuff. We've all fucked up some point in our life, but it's how you come back from it. I know I fucked up in my life when I was younger and I was able to bring myself back when I'm still pretty young. But hey, we've all done some weird shit. And know that that weird shit is what gives you fucked up stories to tell and have a fun time to look back on. So, hey, stop being so hard. The IWC on Twitter, as always. I need to make a video on that. But anyway, there's, this video is honestly been pretty hard to make. Yesterday I spent a whole day watching Razor Ramon and Scott Hall matches and stuff like that. And just, you know, it's weird. Obviously, I'm a fan. I never met the person, never knew him personally. But... It pretty much impacted my life so much. Do you know what I mean? Like, seeing Scott Hall grown up and just seeing from when I was a, a ch- I wouldn't, I was a child. Do you know what I mean? I was a kid, and I've grew up with him being in wrestling, around wrestling, and watching his matches and enjoying everything that he's done. And from that boom period and video games and whatever, I just always knew. Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, all that kind of stuff. The shoot interviews that they've done on YouTube, which if you haven't checked, go check out, are fantastic. But it's just a weird... It's a weird video to make because it's like a part of my childhood passed away the other day as well. Like I said, guys, I hope his family, his friends, get the condolences that I'm sending out. I know probably nobody will watch this because, well, the channel's not that big. But I hope they get the... The condolences I've sent out. I hope his fans enjoy it as well. And it's been so cool to look on Twitter as well and seeing the wrestling community come together um, and over social media come together and just enjoy the career that Scott Hall put there. We, we owe a ton to him. I wouldn't be sitting here reviewing wrestling if it wasn't for this guy. I think I probably would have stopped watching it because it wouldn't have been cool. You wouldn't have had that cool stuff. You would have just torn away from it. And that's what happened to a lot of people as well. They tore away from it when it stopped being cool again. And, yeah, it's pretty, I was going to do top 10 matches and that kind of stuff, but, you know, I think I've done that already in the channel a, a year or so ago. Go have a little look at it. But, uh, yeah, go watch any of his matches. Any of the ladder matches with Shawn Michaels, any of the matches with Bret Hart, any stuff with Owen Hart and him at King of Ring 94. Any of the NWO outside of stuff, that early stuff as well. His stuff in WCW was fantastic. The guy was just great. Always put on a fantastic match. And it is very a big loss for the the wrestling community. It lost somebody as cool as that, as good as that, and just as a mind of wrestling is what Scott Hall has. But it's the way life is, guys, isn't it? We all need to learn to deal with loss at certain points. And I keep saying obviously 
I know I know a few people from back when I was wrestling that met Scott Hall, trained with him, he took them for dinner and stuff when he was on like, independent shows with them and this like my face, personal Facebook's got just a ton of like people re- like just talking about all the good stories that I've got from him which is really cool to see as well. But um hey yeah, guys, this be our video. I'm gonna play a little tribute video which I posted on Twitter, Instagram and TikTok yesterday, but I'm gonna play this at the end of this video as well. Didn't really know what to say in this one, guys. Just wanted to make this little let's talk about it. I think he's one of the greatest wrestlers to ever do it. He changed the industry completely. He's probably the coolest guy to ever do it. And I don't think there's an argument in that at all. We probably most of us wouldn't be watching wrestling today and it wouldn't be as big today if it wasn't for people like Scott Hall back then that changed it. So, I'm gonna play a little video guys. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell. This weekend I've got um this week in wrestling with Wrestling by Will Ridge, which you should definitely check out. There's probably gonna be a good few rants in it. If you haven't checked out last week's one with SCW Steve, go check that out as well. And I also have a WWE 2K22 review coming out either this week or probably Monday or Tuesday. But I love you there guys. Here's a little video. See you later. I will run, I will climb, I will soar I'm undefeated, oh Jumping out of my skin, pull the cord Yeah, I believe it, oh The past is everything we were Don't make us who we are So I'll dream until I make it real And all I see is stars